will be very proud of the season that you had. But at the same time, you got to really ask yourself and have a serious conversation, a serious dialogue about is Coach Prime becoming too big? Is, is it making it, is Coach Prime making it too much about him? You know, whether you lose, whether you're successful, is it too much about people coming to the school because of one individual? instead of actually coming to the school because they love their universe, because they actually want to get better, because they actually are interested in are actually interested in attending a place in which they're going to actually develop and be great. And they're going to do things. They're going to do some incredible things in this world. That's what you have to ask yourself. Because if, if it's the first one I said, then there's no real incentive for Coach Prime to stay. That's just the, that's just the God of the truth. If if it's the first one, if, if if it gets to the point where people are only considering Colorado because of the football coach, or the only reason they're getting this attention is because of the football coach, then there's no reason for him to stay. Especially if his sons move on and Travis Hunter, and they you know have a season, have a rebuilding year like Michigan is going through right now. If they have a rebuilding year, they're not they're not as good as they are this year or there if something happens and they're not not as good or uh, if he's in a situation where he moves on to a different program um it could ultimately set the program back further because it can't be and this is this is just the way football works it can't be about just one individual in fact in my where i played stony brook university right and I, I'll, I'll close you out with this example stony brook last year we went zero and ten zero and ten now i, I Played there and he, that hurt me. <laughs> it hurt me. It was it was funny because you know I'm a fan of Michigan and my team that I'm a fan of. We uh, we went 15 and 0. However, the team I played for goes 0 and 10. So it was kind of a, a, a balancing out, and that's the way football works. But anyway, this year we we got a new coach. They got uh, Coach P, who coached me. He actually I don't I believe he either got fired or retired. It was I mean ultimately it was time for him to. To move on as it is i think he did some great things for the program and seeing it build it was basically a division two program when he got there now we're one of the top programs in the fcs but the the understanding that coach p even just because coach p left you know coach p left and we bring in coach kosh uh now the pro now we're winning and now we're doing things and you know they're I can't tell you what the record is at the moment. I know we just won a game against William and Mary, which is a big win because that's in the CAA and one of the top programs in the FCS and all that. But the bottom line to it is it wasn't just, it stopped being about just coach P all right for the, when I was there, you know, even before I got there, I got there, he was four years into his tenure at Stony Brook and it was so much about him. It was so much, uh, so much was on his shoulders. And as I've watched the program grow since I've been there and they, you know, since I left, since I graduated and all that, I've seen how the program stopped being so much about Coach P and it started being about just getting the Stony Brook, getting yourself a quality education, being in New York, playing football. And the program has flourished when it stops being around about one person. All right. And that's and that's where I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that to where you have to be as Colorado faithful. You have to be moving in a direction where you're not making you're not making being there about one individual. All right. Because that that ultimately would set you back even further. All right. So so as we transition and I'm coming, I'm coming up on my close final topic, final topic, we're talking. LeBron, Coach Prime, Trump, and nepotism. All right, nepotism and how it can be used in a positive way. And then I want to point out as I as I transition to the final topic today, because I want I want to point this out. I want to point this out. This is very this is very important. It didn't hit me. I didn't know how I was going to connect these three concepts until as probably this morning when I took my run and I cleared my head and kind of really thought to myself about what I was going to talk about with these lives because I I work with someone who is a true 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 uh i want to say true but yes definitely we'll, we'll call him a true coach prime supporter and this is how much of a coach prime supporter he is he played at usc he played years he played football played his college football at usc yet last year when it was colorado versus usc he was going for colorado that's how much of a prime support he's that much of a prime supporter and in in turn, 
he hates Trump just as much as he loves Prime. Okay, so it's that it's like that. You hate Trump to the point that you love Coach Prime, and that's that's kind of what one of the things that actually inspired me when it comes to this talk because right now as the debate stands and as it looks it looks like trump is going to trump is going to be our 47th president of the united states which is the person that i want to win personally however it doesn't really matter what my personal opinion is it's about what your research and what exactly you want for me personally the reason i'm more on the trump side that i decided to vote for trump is because number one i'm very pro-life i'm a person that doesn't like the idea. I, don't, I just don't like how the campaign, how Kamala and her her administration are for this abortion, how frivolous, how easy they make this whole abortion thing is not really something. As a person that aspires to be a father and wants to be a great father one day, I don't like how you're running on this reproductive rights and basically making abortion really, really easy for people. 